Here's some Prince terminology. By the time we finish, we must have been through the glossary and covered all of the terms that are mentioned in Prince and given their definition. Before we move on to exam question formats, these few key terms need definition to be stated or restated. Business case. A description of the justification for a project against which continuing viability is tested. Customer. Those who commission the work and benefits from the end result. Product. An input or an output, whether tangible or intangible, that can be described in advance, created and tested. Print has two types of products. Management products, mostly described in Appendix A, and specialist products, which Print makes no presumption to be able to describe. For example, the mixing machines of our bakery example earlier. Products are everything created, acquired or amended whether physical or not, by the project. So a culture change is a product. Program, from which program management within the corporate and program management description that we've used several times will come. Projects that together achieve a beneficial change. In fact, the glossary says a temporary flexible organization structure created to coordinate, direct and oversee the implementation of a set of related projects and activities in order to deliver outcomes and benefits related to the organization's strategic objectives. A program is likely to have a life that spans several years. Supplier. Again from the glossary, the project board role that provides knowledge and experience of the main disciplines involved in the production of the project's deliverables. The senior supplier represents the supplier interest within the project and provides supplier resources. Section 2.3 also says, suppliers provide resources and expertise required by the project and they may be internal or external to the receiving organization. User or users plural, who, after the project is completed, will use the products to enable someone to gain the intended benefits. From the glossary, the person or group who will use one or more of the project's products. Stage. Non-overlapping time periods in which the project manager is authorised, within tolerances, to run the project on the project board's behalf. Authorisation ceases if we step outside of or suspect we will step outside the tolerances. So tolerance, the permissible deviation above and below a plan's target for time and cost without escalating the deviation to the next level of management. There may also be tolerance levels for quality, scope, benefit and risk. Tolerance is applied at project, stage and team level. Exception. A situation where it can be forecast that there will be a deviation between the tolerance levels agreed between project manager and project board, or between project board and corporate and program management, or between project manager and team member manager. Embedding. From the glossary. What an organisation needs to do to adopt prints as its corporate project management method. Contrast with tailoring, which defines what a project needs to do to apply the method to a specific project environment. And so finally, tailoring. From the glossary, the appropriate use of prints on any given project, ensuring that there is correct amount of planning control, governance and the use of the processes and themes, whereas the adoption of prints across the organisation is known as embedding. This is where we say goodbye to those who have not subscribed to the course. I hope you found what we've covered so far useful. It isn't anywhere near enough to pass the exams, but it may set you on the right road. If you are serious about passing the exams, then you will need the rest of the course, and particularly the work files and revision aids that are included alongside the videos. Otherwise, I wish you good luck.